Welcome back to another video. So it has been a really hectic week, so I haven't really had time to film much. I have made sure to film the main parts of both my Wednesday and Saturday session. Um, so rather than just talking too much through this video, what I'll do is I'll play the clip from both of those sessions and I'll do a voiceover with it to talk through how things have gone. Um, but very quick overview, as you could probably tell from the title, it has been a really good week. Like everything has felt really good. Everything has fell kind of way below the RP that it should have been, which is a really good sign for the rest of this block and future blocks. So I'm feeling in a really good place. I'm feeling really happy. My body weight is settling around 87 still. And to be honest, I haven't been totally strict with weighing everything out. Like I have been kind of when I've been, say, let's say, making my oats in the morning, I'll put chocolate chips in. I've been having like a couple of extra just to snack on and things like that. So I've definitely been going over my planned macros, not by tons, but maybe let's say an extra 100 calories each day. So what I'm going to do, I'm currently staying at my parents. So when I go back to my place, I will be sure to kind of dial in on that and then potentially push my calories a little bit higher. Um, I feel like I might push to 88 kilos. I've got so long until I compete again that I know it won't take me long to cut down to the 85, 86 mark, which as long as I'm sitting mid 85s when I'm like two or three weeks out from comp, I know I'll make weight really comfortably anyway. So that's the only thing that I might potentially do is just kind of gain a little bit more weight but at the moment I'm just being a little bit more flexible with my tracking and then I'll nail that in in the next week or so. So let's just jump in, take a look at Wednesday's session. I go for months, I could go for years. If I take a break, I promise I'll be relapsing. Okay, so going into this session, I didn't really know what to expect. I didn't have high expectations. I didn't have low expectations. Typically, week two doesn't ever feel amazing just because there is still some fatigue, especially the beginning of week two. And this was day one of that week two of the block. But actually, I was really pleasantly surprised. So this set of 135 for six moved so, so well, a lot easier than I thought it would. I think it moved about an RP five to six. Like I could have definitely kept going. There was plenty left in the tank. Like I felt really good as I finished the set. I was super happy with how this moved. I'm definitely finding now that I'm in flats, everything feels so much more solid. So I'm really happy I made that decision. And I think my depth as well is looking a lot more consistent on these sets as well. So I've not really got much more to say on the side of squats. Like they just moved really well. They felt really good. And my body just felt really fresh going into this session. The only thing I would say is I did notice that my knee pain was back a little bit this week. But it hasn't been there for, well, ever since I switched to flats, it's not really been there. It's not something I'm particularly worried about. It was just something I did notice was a little bit niggly during these squats and on Saturday's squat session as well. Okay, so then moving on to bench press. So I have changed my warm ups on bench. I've essentially just taken out the first jump that I would do. So usually I would go 70, roughly 90, and then whatever my top single was, which is usually in the 100 to 110 range. I've decided to take out that second warm up. I don't think I need it. So instead, I've started jumping from 70 to 100 or 102.5, depending on what my top single is. So on this session, I did jump straight from 70 to 100 for my three count single. And it honestly felt incredible. The way that I warm up isn't what I would recommend to others when it comes to bench. Like I wouldn't recommend such big jumps on bench and such minimal amounts of warm up sets. But it's something that I have been used to doing pretty much since I ever started lifting. I will talk about that in more detail in another video. But I just thought I'd address that briefly here. So that's why I jumped straight from 70 to my top single. And then I did my back off sets as well. 92.5 for sets of six. And in all honesty, my bench has never felt this strong. So I'm really excited to continue pushing that. Then finally finishing on deadlifts. So for this session, I was conscious to set the bar slightly further forward. So I had it about an inch further forward than I normally would. So it was kind of at the front of where my laces sit. And that was to try and keep my quads more involved. And I have to say it definitely paid off. I felt like I was in a much stronger position. I almost felt like my posterior chain wasn't as loaded, which obviously with my lower back flare ups recently, that's a really good thing. So I managed to do 160 for three sets of one, which with one minute rest in between, all felt really great. By the third single, 
it just felt really smooth, really fast, and I felt like I had more power off the floor. So I'm really, really happy with the deadlifts at the moment as well. My back hasn't flared up since doing these either. I think just doing the three singles at the moment is the smartest thing I could have decided to do in terms of letting my lower back recover while still pushing my conventional deadlift at least a little bit. And then just to finish, rather than doing back off sets with my conventional deadlifts, I am now just doing a couple of light sets of RDLs. So I put the weight up to 60 this week. I did 50 last week, just two sets of 12. Originally, I did plan to do three sets when I first write out this block. However, I did notice that my lower back does get quite pumped after two. And that's something I don't want to kind of irritate or overuse so i stopped at two sets and it definitely felt a lot better this week versus last week so i think these are a really good thing for me to add in and i'm really glad i made that decision so as you can see that was a really really good session i'm feeling really happy with all of my lifts at the moment they all just feel like they're in a really good place um, and i knew because i had such a good secondary day that i would definitely have a good primary day as well for squats and bench so let's just take a look at saturday's session again i will do a voiceover talking through anything i want to cover in a bit more detail so after wednesday's really successful session where everything moved at a much lower rp than planned i went into saturday's spd day really confident feeling really good Overall, it was a really great session. I did find I felt quite slow when I was squatting and things felt a bit heavier. So this 145 for a top set of four. In the moment, I think it felt a lot harder than it actually was, like watching it back and reflecting as soon as I finished the set. My fatigue was incredibly low still. It wasn't actually a tiring set. It was just in the moment it felt tiring. It was still about an RPE six. I do think the reason that things didn't feel great and my squats felt a bit slower than normal is actually down to the fact that the night before I did have a takeaway, which isn't something I would normally have. And obviously heavier food makes you feel a bit more lethargic. And I genuinely think that was what the problem was, but it wasn't an issue. It was only affecting squats. As you would have just seen, my 160 fatigued single still moved so well. It was so smooth after that top set of four. And then my back offs all moved really well as well. So I do just think it was more of like a mental thing. And I think it was relating to the food that I ate beforehand, where my body and my mind were just a bit tired, a bit slow. I didn't sleep as well. And that will obviously all have had an impact on the session. I also did have to get up at four o'clock that morning to take my parents to the airport. So sleep also wasn't great before this session. Obviously, that is a list of excuses. The session itself was still incredible. So it doesn't really matter about any of those variables. And as you'll see here, bench once again was really great. I jumped straight from 75 up to 105 for my top single. And this top single was so, so comfortable. I can't actually believe how well it moved considering the jump that I took. So I'm really, really happy with bench as well. And then my back off, uh, back off sets of four also just moved super comfortably as well. So bench I'm really happy with. Overall, squats and bench as a primary day were great this session. I can't be mad. So I'm really happy with the position that they are both in at the moment. Then just moving on to sumo deadlifts. So I'm still getting used to positioning with sumo. I am sticking with a more narrow stance because last time I tried to add in sumo when my back originally flared up and it was really bad, I did find if I tried to push my hips too wide, I just got really bad hip pain. Like My hips are very narrowly built. They're not overly mobile and it's something that I do work on, but they just don't really get mobile enough for a wide stance sumo. So I'm just sticking with more of like a narrow kind of frog stance at the moment. It relieves a lot of pressure off of my lower back and it still feels relatively strong. It's just a new movement to get used to. So these ascending sets are still pretty sub max, but as you can see, they moved pretty well. So that is gonna wrap it up for this week's video. I hope you have enjoyed. It's not been anything too in depth. It's just been a recap of the week, but I have never felt this strong on week two of a training block before. I am in such a good position and I'm really excited to see where this takes me in the future. So feeling really good, feeling really happy. Body weight is still in a really good point. I have room to push that up more, which will only help my lifts. Bench is still the highlight of the show as always, but squat is getting there as well. And deadlifts this week have definitely clicked as well. So everything is trending perfectly i'm feeling really confident got no plans to compete in the next 
three, four, probably five or six months. So I've got so much time. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you next week for the next one. Yeah.